Hey everybody, I am here with Josh Bauman, head of middle school, and we're going to talk a little bit about the recent 8th grade class trip up to Black Mountain, North Carolina. Great. So, tell me a little bit about the trip. How did it go? On the whole, I think it was fan fantastic. For our first time doing a class trip of this, of this magnitude, four days, three nights in the mountains, um, I, the, the feedback I've been receiving is that it, it was really great. Students had a lot of fun. I think the faculty enjoyed it as well, which is great. Yeah. As a parent of a participant, I know that Hannah had a really good time. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. And I hope her, pa her, I hope her peers say the same thing, yeah. and I think they do. What was, did she have a highlight, or I can share some highlights from students? You share some highlights, and I'll think, oh, she has shared some. I'll go through. Great. Um, I think most of the students would say their highlight was the whitewater rafting on the French Broad River. Um, really beautiful river, and it was a really scenic day. Both days, um, we were fortunate to get great weather. Um, the class two, three rapids were, were perfect for, for the students. So thrilling on that side, but from my perspective, always safe, um, never stressed that it was too, too dangerous for, for them. Um, so it's a really perfect uh, rafting experience. That's great. Yeah, she definitely mentioned the rafting. Um, I think she really enjoyed sort of just being off campus, you know. She actually enjoyed the bus ride. Yeah. Which was interesting. Yeah, um, seven hours in a bus. Um, it's good bonding time for sure for students. Um, really, just that time together was the um, you know the one of the reasons we took this trip. I think for students, the, the goal is being to um, foster that class spirit and class pride, deepen the peer connections, and then really just to create joyful memories for our students. Um, I hope that when they reflect on this trip in 20, 30 years, they have fun stories to share yeah. and um, bond over those moments. Well, that's, that's great. The students that I've talked to, I've asked, and they've all said that they very much appreciated it. They were a little skeptical of what it was going to be like. Um, for some, they had not been away from home for that long, I think. Um, but they all have said that it is something that we should continue. Great. And, you know, you and I both come from schools where this was... This was just part of the program. Um, and we've had them here at Bowles before, but then we've had a period of time where we haven't. And you know, we feel really strongly that they should take place. Um, and taking those students off of campus, sometimes out of their comfort zone, certainly restricting the cell phone use a little bit was very important. Yeah, I know there was some anxiety there, but that ended up being really, I think you know, it was really I, important. I compliment the students on the cell phones, because at, at the end of the day, um, they got into the activities, that it, they, they had Certain, certain moments where they could check in with their parents, use their cell phones, um, but really they, for the most part, follow the rules on the cell phone. So great That's awesome. them for that. That's fantastic. And I've done a bunch of these trips, and I know the most important thing to do is we've got to thank those faculty chaperones. Of course. Thank you for that bringing a, that up. That is a huge amount of time to be away from families, spending time with, you know, nearly 200 of your closest 14-year-old friends is not <laughs> always the most the easiest thing to do, but I really appreciate it. Um, I went in the morning into, as you guys were getting ready to leave and the energy was just super high. They were excited to go um, and we know that that plays into the student experience. If the faculty chaperones are excited about going and they're building the energy, then the students are more excited yeah. as well and they did a great job. Yeah, it's definitely. And from the start, I mean, the, the trip took a lot of planning and really creative thinking from the, the, the chaperones, flexibility and, and patience and then you know, while we're, while we were there, just the level of positivity um, was was just wonderful, and, and I'm really grateful to them. Really, at the at the end of the day, just their selflessness mm -hmm. to give so much to our students, to our school, to create um, a really special experience. Yeah, and it is it's something you know that the students are going to remember. Those memories are what are really important. Indeed, indeed, and I think um, you know one last thing for the faculty is just. I really enjoyed spending time with the faculty, I mean the students as well, and, and have some good memories with them, but I think um, we had a text exchange with the faculty and just the memories continued to flow over the weekend about, um, about the trip, so I'm grateful to that. Yeah, it's, it's exhausting to do, but at the same time, it's almost like the pace of everything slows down a little bit, and you're able to have some of the conversations with colleagues that you might not know that well. Right. You know, because you're you're on a bus or you're in a raft, a, getting in splashed a raft. by cold water and, and having laughs. It's good. Yeah, and so I, that's another thing I meant to ask. Um, you know, outside of rafting, what are some of the other activities? I know that it was a really busy. Yeah, busy time. So we had um, a ropes course for students and, and faculty, of course. Um, there was a mountain hike. 
we did an evening campfire with s'mores. And then one of the, I think, the surprisingly fun events for students is we had a live bluegrass band one evening. And there was a gentleman there who was teaching some um, some square dance moves. Nice. And you know, it was just super fun to see students in, um, in that. In that. And, they're, and they're a dance element, but in the square sure. dance element. And then yesterday morning, I got a, a message from a faculty member who said, um, his his students were in the advisory in the morning singing the tune to the to, to, to the bluegrass so song was called um, um, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea and okay. we did various movements um, with that but really a great memory there that's, too that's fantastic I mean there's there's so much about being part of a school community and I think a lot of times we appropriately so focus on the academic side the athletic side the art side but you know one of the best parts about being a part of a community are are moments like that just the sort of silly bonding moments that no one else that you know is not part of that eighth grade class gets an opportunity to have exactly. and that's why it's so important that everybody go yeah yeah definitely awesome well thanks again really appreciate it of course. you went you're you, probably already planning again yeah well you've you supported the trip from the start so uh -huh. grateful grateful to your um, support and advocacy for the trip and yeah we're already thinking a bit ahead towards next year and potentially doing it in the fall okay. it's kind of a start of the year it'd be October but if we go back to the same place really get to enjoy some fall foliage that'd, that'd be, be different different views yeah so it's not great. hard it's not hard to get me to go on a class trip especially one oh. of the mountains hey I would have oh. gone I would have gone this year we I will remember you I for next in, year I was in Dallas <laughs> definitely remember me I was I wouldn't have been allowed to go this year anyway I think oh, my, I think my yeah. eighth grader would have would have put the kibosh on that one <laughs> Great. Anyway, so thanks again to your team. Well done, students. Um, thanks for parents for being flexible. I know they helped out and they provided a lot of snacks and supplies. It was a true community effort. Um, can't wait to do it again next year. Just so that everybody knows, we're starting to work these in for um, all of our grades 5 through 12. Um, so the fifth graders are actually currently as we speak the, on as we speak on their overnight experience and can't wait to hear about that one too. But thanks to your team and thanks to everybody out there for all that they do. Oh,